Your second compound machine was this bike. 180 mil was the crank pedal, 26 inch wheel, which equates to 650 mil diameter, 325 millimeter radius on the back wheel. 20 teeth cog here, 60 tooth cog here. Your velocity ratio. Velocity ratio one was the gears, equals the velocity. That one is spinning slower. The effort is spinning slower than the load. Velocity ratio equals driven divided by driving. 20 divided by 60 equals one on three. Your second velocity ratio is how far this moves on the crank compared to how far the wheel moves. Effort, load. Velocity ratio two, two equals distance moved by the effort divided by the distance moved by the load equals 180 divided by 325 equals, I'll just divide that by 5, 36 divided by 65 and that's about as far as that goes. So our overall velocity ratio Velocity ratio 1 times velocity ratio 2 equals 1 on 3 times 36, 65 equals 36 on 195. Okay, and then whatever that works out to be. I don't, I haven't got it here. Okay, um... What that means there, if I put 300 newtons force down on this, on the pedal, if I put 30 kilograms of force, 300 newtons is not unreasonable. And assuming 100% efficiency, mechanical advantage equals efficiency times velocity ratio, 36 on 195 was the velocity ratio equals load on effort, which was 300 newtons. The load on the other end equals 36 times 300 divided by 195 equals 36 times 3 is 108, 195 and the calculator says that that is 55.4 newtons. So for your 300 newton force here, you get 55 newtons of force there at a faster speed.